Hello, my name is John Butterley with Ziegler Ag Equipment. Uh, welcome here to FarmFest. Uh, I'm going to present the Lexian Combine and also the new Convio Flex Draper from Class. So if you want to follow me back here, I'll highlight a few of the points with the Combine. So right away as we get back here to the machine, this machine is the Class Lexian 740. So that's the Class 7 machine. It's our kind of our leading machine that we go out to most of our customers with. Class 7, it's the biggest uh, class in the industry so that's where you know with this machine tied with Terratrax and um, the 35 foot flex draper it's an ideal machine for the customers in their area so let me show highlight a few of the points on the machine so if we come back in here underneath the panel you'll see our um, 200 uh, kilowatt feeder house drive which will get about 268 horsepower to the PTO up here in the front so it's 100% variable that allows us, you know, be it in soybeans or corn, that we can variable the rate the speed of the corn head or soybean header depending on the conditions that we're harvesting in. Um, you'll see the unloading um, system right here. We'll highlight the unloading auger here in a little bit. But um, let me take you up here to the new uh, Convio 1080 Flex Draper. So the Class Flex Draper is the first Flex Draper that Class has brought to the industry. It's brand new, it was launched last year and we've had it out demonstrating here in Minnesota with tremendous success. So um, let me highlight a few of the features here with it. We've got a single point hookup right here. We also have a PTO shaft and your lock-in pins. One thing customers are going to notice here is that we don't have the, um, the, the, uh, we don't have the attachment with the faceplate adapter to put the header onto the Lexian. So that's one thing that actually brings the machine a lot closer to the combine. That then allows the customer to be able to see the soybeans right on the draper belts. So it makes everything a lot easier and a lot easier so they can control what's going on in the combine. So you'll see here it's all driven by drive shaft. Then also there's a drive shaft right under here that'll keep both knives, because it's a double knife drive on this machine, it'll keep both knives running in synchronous. So if you want to come around here, we'll take a quick look at how that looks. Uh, one thing also to highlight is our crop protector, our saver right here. So that'll actually, if there's any soybeans that'll fly up, it'll catch it and then put it back on the draper belts. Right under here, we're going to see the, um, the drive for the knife. So um, a couple of things here, we've got the belt tension right here. We do not need any tools. Simply run in here between the gauge and that'll tension and detension the belt as needed. Then also right here, we've got the knife drive. So that's where the knife drive on all class headers are timed. And with the drive then, there's an automatic slip clutch in there. So if you do come across a foreign object, um, it'll slip, stop the machine and it'll get it going again. It'll time everything back up the way it should be. Then you'll see we've got our cam action reel. So it's got the flip over reel. So that allows us to be gentle to the crop and then move the crop onto the draper belts then, uh, as you can see right here. So as I'll come across, you'll see we've got a nice narrow point here on the flex draper. So that allows us kind of cut through the soybeans nice and easy. Uh, another industry uh, leading that we have on here is the um, nine inches of flex on our cutter bar. So you'll see the knife right here. We can really get down tight to the ground, which allows us to harvest all the soybeans up into the machine. So with the nine inches of flex, we've got four modes that we can run this flex draper. We've got rigid, we've got rigid with flex, we've got full flex, and then we also have auto flex. So with those four modes, no matter what crop you're harvesting, you can adjust the header to work with the ground conditions that you got going on. Another thing, as you come over here to the center, you'll see we've got a rock trap. Um, so if there's any rocks or foreign objects that we don't want in the combine, it has a chance to stop here, coupled with the um, rock trap up in the combine too. Another um, new thing to the industry for us as well is we've got the, um, the outside drapers can be set at a different speed to the center draper, bringing it into the combine. So that allows us, you know, really fine tune the header to what we wanted to do for, you know, harvesting the soybeans that we have ahead of us then that will run proportionately to the forward speed of the combine. So we can have, um, with this machine, we can have the header pitch, we can have the reel speed, the reel position, the belt speed, and then also then um, the center belt speed, all saved within one click of a button. 
So that's one thing that, you know, as you're going through down crop, tall crop, short crop, we can have the header set exactly how you want it. One click of a button, it'll go between all modes. So then I'll turn my attention to the combine. So you'll see here we got the, the cab up here with the LED lights. That's one thing that's um, new for 2018-2019. You'll see our 29.2 foot unloading auger. So that unloads at 3.8 bushels a second. So as you can see, there's plenty of clearance there for the grain carts. Um, then also, uh, you'll see up here, this machine is ag leader ready. That's one thing with the Lexian, we can put ag leader, trimble, and then we can also go through um, a third party system called Agri GPS to get uh, John Deere steering and also yield mapping on the machine. So I'll bring you over here to the other side of the machine, show you a few things here quick. So you'll see when I mentioned about the um, when I mentioned about the hydraulic setting of the machine, right here is where the hydraulic cylinder is and that'll set the actual pitch of the feeder house for the header. So that's why we don't need the adapter uh, on the machine. Then you'll see here we got the cruise pilot function with the cruise pilot. That'll work with, um, roller will sit on top of the feeder house chain. That'll work with your, the amount of losses out the back of the machine, your engine load, your forward speed, and then, like I said, the amount of crop coming into the machine at any one time. With those four parameters, the, speed will the machine will then automatically speed up and slow down as needed going through the field. Okay? That then can be coupled with uh, crop flow protection. So, you know, in those hard to harvest soybeans, we actually have a sensor on our APS drum thrashing cylinder and impeller which will allow the machine to stop prior to you know we get into a, a serious issue. So with this machine you got the APS thrashing hybrid so that means the thrashing is done at up front at one speed and then we got the separation done at a separate speed at the back with our two rotors. Um, Terratrax so industry leader on the Terratrax then too we got 25 mile an hour road speed on the on the this model machine it's on the class seven and eight, which has got 25 mile an hour road speed. Then we'll uh, come back here to the TerraTrack. Uh, from the TerraTrack, we'll look at our quantimeter system. So the quantimeter then, with the um, technology providers I mentioned earlier, we can hook up directly with that to make everything work as best we can with the farmer. So that way, we can allow the adaptability of the Lexian to work with whatever the customer currently has. Coming back here a little bit further, couple of points, um, 3D self-leveling system, so that goes up to 20% slope. That's one thing that comes standard with all machines in Minnesota. And then here in the back axle, you'll notice that this machine is a two-wheel drive. Reason being is we have customers that um, want the TerraTrack but don't necessarily want the four-wheel drive, so we have the option here to go four-wheel drive or two-wheel drive on the rear of the machine. Finally here, I'll bring your attention to the dynamic cooling, so you'll see here with the nice louvers up on top, that's where with the dynamic cooling it sucks the clean air from up the top, it blows it down through the radiators and then out through the side of the machine. That way it keeps everything a lot nicer and cleaner. So that's kind of a quick rundown on the Lexian combines. There's a lot of new stuff coming here with Lexian, so please contact your local Ziegler Ag salesman or check us out at the ZieglerCat.com. Thank you very much and Look forward to seeing you here at FarmFest.